today's a little bit different episode. We're going to be doing a save game review. This user started as Bohemia and is attempting a true one tag, one culture, one faith with under a thousand hours, which is pretty ambitious, I have to say. I only recently did my first one culture at over 7,000. Not that I really ever tried for it, to be fair. So we're going to look at this game review and break down our thoughts. Now, obviously, it's 1690, and um, yeah, we're nowhere close to conquering the world. We're Prussia, so we must have done some tag switching. Ooh, that's, that's, uh, that's a red flag right there. It's 1690, and we have 59 absolutism with a max of 74. That's obviously a mistake. And the point of this review is not just to flame this guy, but to give you guys a look at what you might improve in your games. So the first thing we need to improve is our max absolutism. And we can do that by removing our privileges. There's also court and country, the disaster. Looks like our crown land is in a really bad spot as well. So we need to work on our crown land. Just so you know, at 70% crown land, we get plus 15 absolutism. So that would help a lot as well. Looks like we kept great Moravian ideas, which are an interesting set, mostly because they have max effect of absolutism. That's pretty strong. Let's take a look at our economy. We don't make that much money for the 1690, if I have to be honest with you. That's okay. We currently have a 3, 2, and a 1 advisor. We should definitely have all 5s by now. But hey, no worries. Again, this is a under 1,000 hours, so give him a little bit of slack. We're Bohemian. We haven't done the max effect of absolutism. We've really strayed away from attacking into the HRE, which is very weird. It looks, looks like we just got the inheritance and did a little bit of conquest in the HRE and then kind of went over and attacked Russia, Commonwealth. We probably just integrated Poland... Looks like we're annexing here. We're, we went Hussite, which is fine. So obviously there's a long ways to go for one culture. What I would recommend is don't start with one culture or one faith. Start with a world conquest. It's good to be ambitious, don't get me wrong. That's totally fine, but obviously they're kind of stepping stones. We need to be able to world conquest first, then we can go, move on and work on a one faith, and then one culture from there. At least that's how it worked for me. The ideas here seem really odd too. We don't have diplomatic. Diplomatic is very fundamental to world conquest. I'm not sure why we have religious ideas. I'm pretty sure, if I recall correctly, there's a mission here that gives you Deus Volt. I don't know where it is. The mission trees are all broken. But I believe there is a mission that gives you Deus Volt somewhere down here. Right, we already have that unlocked. And yet we still went religious, which is kind of weird. We don't even have that. We're not even taking that, though. Why aren't we taking that? Culture conversion cost. Okay, we should definitely be taking the permanent CB for Deus Volt. That's freaking so good. And then not taking religious. You really don't even need religious these days for one faith. I know that's might be crazy to think, but you really don't. And it doesn't seem very good to take. I definitely would not take religious in this case because it doesn't make any sense. Also, quantity doesn't really make any sense. Influence doesn't really make much sense either. It's not like you're you're not really heavily invested into subjects. You have like two personal unions, so definitely a weird idea of choices there. Quality again. I'm not sure why we took quality. Trade. Are you are you memeing? The only idea I really like for Bohemian here is admin and maybe religious, but really, really probably just admin. And I would, I would probably pick completely different agree groups. Like, let me give you a rundown of what I might do. So I'd probably, admin's a fine choice. Maybe not what I would have started. Remember, you're in the HRE, and so espionage is really powerful. It's definitely a consideration for my first idea group. Like, we'll just, um, we'll just say, go ahead and remove this and show what I may have done. So I probably would have started espionage and then gone administrative, followed by diplomatic. Quantity, if I was struggling with manpower. Humanist, because that's really nice for the game conquest. And then defensive for the policy that gives you the land attrition. These six ideas here are really strong. I would probably abandon espionage after the first bit of time in favor of something else, such as religious ideas or offensive ideas. Well, there's just to give you a rundown of what I might consider for a world conquest. Again, your seventh and eighth ideas really don't matter by that point. You should have your world conquest well in hand at that point. I can see a pretty big mistake here is that you... Did not rush to attack 23 Diplo, which gives you Imperialism. And so it's very important that you do that. But we're not doing a very good job of our admin efficiency here. I see we also don't have this mission here for the admin efficiency. We don't have Alhambra for the admin efficiency. We don't have Malta. So we just kind of really need to focus on the world conquest aspect first. We also have max effective absolutism, and we're not even at 100 absolutism. And the way max effective absolutism works, if you guys don't know, it essentially just lets you have 115 absolutism or whatever percent you are bonused. You get that percent. I also notice we have the balance of power, which gives max effect of absolutism, but we didn't upgrade the great project. We'll upgrade it to rank two, but not to rank three. So we're not taking advantage. Again, our absolutism is so terrible, it wouldn't really matter. But you have the mission unlocked and you should take advantage of it, in my opinion. You guys know I'm not crazy into trade, but even I could tell you that collecting in Genoa is probably a good idea. 
Although, do we have? We don't even own any of it, do we? Yeah, we just really haven't. Oh, we really don't own that much land for it being sixteen ninety one. Now, could you will conquest from here? Absolutely, but you'd have to turn it around completely. You know, you'd have to sack max ab efficiency and really start doing some tag switching. It seems like your ab efficiency is really, really poor. You're over, also over gov cap. I don't know if you know this, but that's not the way. So let's see what what are we doing here? We it looks like we're just okay. It looks like we're full stated in some of our regions, but it looks like we're like full stated here. No, we're half stated there. Why is our gov cap so bad? Are we building buildings? We're just not building buildings, are we? We built some core houses, it seems like, but we just didn't build them in the new land. Maybe we'll give them the benefit of the doubt. You must have just recently annexed these guys. But hey, make sure that you uh, build your government buildings. They're really important. And don't be over gov cap ever because that lowers your admin efficiency. So it's great that you're ambitious to do you know, your world conquest, one faith, one culture, but we obviously need to work on our fundamentals a bit. Let's make sure that we are constantly at max absolutism or even above that so never have any privileges at the age of absolutism unless you have bonus absolutism to work with which you get, of course don't make sure our crown land is higher than this so we have the proper bonuses we need to have that plus 15 max absolutism we also are really late with our reforms at 1690 and i don't know did we expand no we didn't so something went wrong here it's really important that you finish your reforms you could have metrovalian's reign Whatever that is there, and that gives you more max hospitalism. Maybe we were just in half states the whole game. I'm not really sure, but we really need to work on our gov reform progress. Something's uh something's clearly amiss with this. What what is this? Did we just trade company all? Oh no. Make sure we don't do this. I don't even care about trade much. Okay, so you don't this is not good in your trade companies here. I know you guys are gonna yell at me for critiquing trade, and that's fair. But even I know that you don't want to just put everything on a trade company. You wanna try to get like 50 percent yeah you have a hundred percent you want to get you want to just get the merchant and then you get more value that way so you, you have all these like massive trade companies which like like this one looks better here probably because you just don't own the land i imagine but yeah that's kind of weird we just trade company to everything that is definitely not the way to do things trade companies aren't bad but don't just grant everything to a trade company like this it is definitely not the way you got to be strategic with your trade companies or just don't use them like i do <laughs> Uh, you'll get more value out of it that way, but that 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 is uh, probably why you're having so much problems with GovCap because you've decided to TC everything. We're really not even making that much money from trade, despite doing that as well. So you definitely have some things to work on, kind of some fundamentals. And hey, you're under a thousand hours. Trust me, you're definitely doing really well for under a thousand hours, and just keep keep grinding. And I would actually recommend that even though you'll probably not get the world conquest in this attempt, just try it, push for it, try to get your absolutism better. I know you mentioned you're going to form some other nations. See if you can form those nations, whether it's uh, Sardinia, Rome. Just see how far you can go, because you'll learn a lot. I think it's a bad idea to just give up when a campaign doesn't look possible. You should really push to the end to you, so you have the feel for what it might look like. I also highly recommend the White House over here. It looks like you own the White House. You just haven't been able to move your capital here. So it seems like you definitely watch my videos and you have an idea of like what the strategy might look like. You're, like you're trying to do the tag switching route and you're trying to do all that. And you're just going to haven't found... The mark on some things like yeah we have the white house and that's great our, our economy is also questionable we're in a lot of debt aren't we Fifty thousand loans all right we definitely want to be a little bit more careful than that with our loans i know i'm gonna get you guys are gonna be like but you take loans all the time just because i take loans doesn't mean you should okay i'm not the example okay let's look at your army stack so that's one thing i didn't so we have a 35 15 which is just the weirdest stack i've ever seen in my life for 1691 so if you want to be efficient with your army stacks and I, I don't even do this personally, but you want to go to your stack width, right? Your, you want to look at this comet width here, which is 36. And so if you want to be like really efficient, you could build a stack that has 36 in the front and 36 in the back. I'd recommend that you get rid of all your calves, especially by 1690. A stack I recommend using that's super solid for single player. Because in single player, you don't really need to have optimal front line and back line. You just need good siege stacks. So what I like to do is a 15-0-10. And what's nice about a 15010 is it combines into 50 and into 100. So very clean numbers. I like these clean numbers. And they siege very effectively. They're not going to be the best at fighting it. Again, if you wanted to have like the most optimal for fighting, you need like 36 infantry and 36 cannons and then like infantry to reinforce. But you don't usually need a, these efficient, perfect stacks in the late game of a game. You're probably the strongest person in the game and you're not really having problems with wars. So it's more about sieging. So a little bit weird stacks. I'm not really sure what the logic here is. Um, but yeah, I, I I don't I don't like it. This is probably closer. Maybe you're trying to copy my stack here, but you're for some reason have five horses. I don't know why. Maybe you have like 
Uh, do you have cav combat ability from something? Or what's what's the logic there? I don't think so. Yeah, no, I don't see anything like that. So, yeah, weird choice. Um, we'll see if you have a navy. You know, you guys know that I wouldn't. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm guessing this isn't a navy you build. It seems just like an inherited navy. Now, even I would probably have a navy at 1690. Because you actually need to be able to do that. But let's quickly cover your government reforms. And I can go through and tell you what I like. Um, obviously, we've uh, we've chosen to go with this here, which doesn't really seem like to give you a lot. But I don't really hate it. You're obviously having GovCap issues, so you can't do the pressure monarchy. That's fine. Um, I might just go with autocracy myself. I mean, the diplomat rep's fine. It, it's, it, it seems fine. This tier one is really weird. I guess if you're struggling with manpower, it's fine. Um, I would probably go with conference with the nobility. At least early game. Um, expand rule court. It's interesting you have expand rule court, but you're still struggling with GovCap so much. Head of the Reformed Church, yeah, probably would not take that. Uh, that seems fine, I guess. I would definitely consider doing sustained discipline for your late game for land attrition. It seems like you're struggling with manpower anyways, so that might be helpful. A royal Decree is fine. This is weird that you took this and that you don't have, like, espionage or something. I would recommend just taking Nobles of the Road unless you have espionage, which you didn't, because if not, you're just paying for corruption, which is probably not worth it. And you even have a, a ruler that has incorruptible, so... If you didn't, it would be even more money. But a little bit weird. I mean, I guess it's fine if you want to pay the money. But you're also having problems with money, so I wouldn't recommend that. Also, probably to empower the burgers, not curtail them. Yeah, I would just go with this in the future. And then I would either go with Machiavellian's Reign here or this one here for the National Rescue of Separatism. I would probably go Regional Representation for the CCR and the Minimum Autonomy. And then, of course, Political Absolutism. Anyways, guys, let me know if you enjoyed this video. It's something I might do in the future. Save Game Review. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and have a great one.